<coughs> well, hi everybody, and welcome to a rather croaky Happy Travellers vlog. In this vlog, I want to talk about a bit more about uh, solar panels and how to fit as much as I possibly can on the roof. So. Uh, I've got uh, space and I've measured it up. I've got space for a single 200 watt panel at 24 volts and I've got space for two 100 watt panels at 12 volts each. So I've drawn it up here and this is what it would look like. So this, this bit here would be the above the bedroom. So just here would be the, the bedroom roof light and either side of that I'd put a uh, 100 watt panel uh, at 12 volts and wire those together in series to make them look like a single 24 volt panel at 200 watts. Well, in the in the front of the roof light, I then uh, put another 200 watt panel going the other way. So the 100 watt panels will go that way, and the 200 watt panel will go that way. So, and then I'd wire those in parallel, giving me a total of 400 watts at 24 volts. Going into my uh, MPPT controller and charging the batteries. And um, I'm thinking that that's gonna be okay. I do need to check just to make sure that that all works and that I can have panels facing in different directions. Not, they'll all be facing upwards but in the orientation they face north, south, east, west as it were in terms of the van roof. So that's what we're looking at um, right now. Uh, the 200 watt panel is uh, about 130 quid and the 100 watt panels are 90 quid each. So uh, two, three, so for about 400 um, they can be installed on the roof which will give us massive loads of additional solar power. I've decided not to remove the current um, PWM controller which plugs into the sergeant unit because the sergeant unit is just not up to taking the uh, new uh, MPPT controller it will just burn out everything else it's just too powerful for it so I'm just going to wire all that straight onto the batteries and uh, we'll go from there that might well be the first thing that we do so the MPPT controller and the solar panels um, when we get back to the UK because these are all UK sourced um, stuff so and I feel happier uh, buying them where I know I can always go back to them and you know people that I know so there you are <coughs> this all this electrical upgrade thing has been driving me crazy um, getting to sort out exactly what we're gonna need I think I've done that now I think I'm pretty well sorted um, the inverters gonna change to an inverter charger uh, on by using a Victron inverter charger. I'm not sure I actually need a charger as such. Um, I've decided that I'll be using a Sterling Power uh, DC battery to battery charger so that will connect to the starter battery and the alternator and feed the leisure batteries so that that will be that done. Um, so that's the, the components in the thing are uh, the DC charger so to charge the batteries fully when we're moving when the engine's running solar panels for when we're static MPPT controller to maximize the power draw out of those panels into the batteries and then an upgraded inverter so that we can pop that in place and feed all of the appliances in the van so microwave if we wanted to run the fridge, all the uh, electrical sockets and all the 12 volt sockets would still run through the uh, sergeant controller. So um, that's that's all going to be 
die. Done. The the big thing about changing the inverter is that I can I can take the electrical hookup feed in, connect that to the new inverter charger. So that takes the AC power in, then take the AC power out, feed that back to the sergeant controller. That makes sense. So I'm just sort of taking the cable, splitting it, putting an inverter charger in the middle, and then sort of allowing the inverter charger to become the control for when it uses battery power or mains power. Um, one of the good things about that is that when you are plugged into mains power you know those times when you go when you plug in and you put something on and the bollard trips and it's locked and you can't go out and switch it on yourself you have to call the site warden and they come out and switch it well if you put one of these inverter chargers in the middle that really doesn't happen anymore because the inverter charger gives you a controlled amount of ampage so if you've got five or six amps coming out of your bollard and your inverter charger is rated at 30 amps you can draw 30 amps in controlled situations so you know um it's all it's all going to be good it's going to be um expensive especially especially in you know in the future when we start to talk about lithium batteries to go in place of the ones we've just bought but there you are anyway that's the update for today we're going to see you hopefully a little less croaky tomorrow thanks so much for watching bye bye for now <laughs>